Well, this year, maybe Mark can flip that over for me. We've actually succeeded in giving $240,050 this year. Come on, Harry. This astonishes me because this brings the total since 2010 to $602,000 and $50. <laughs> So I'm sure all of you are surprised as, as I am that if you would have told me 2010 in February that I'd be standing here saying we've raised $600,000 for the hospital, I just wouldn't believe it. But that's the agricultural community and our ag family and all our vendors and suppliers and everybody here behind me and many more that couldn't make it here tonight. We really want to give back and, and we're, we're, we're putting our money where our mouth is and uh, We've purchased 43 pieces of equipment so far, including the cross-cultural initiatives uh, to care for the babies, the children, and the families. Um, some of the equipment we purchase include those incubators you've seen. Those are giraffes, pandas, which are baby warmers for that neonatal intensive care unit. Right now, as I speak, I was talking to Dr. Chandler at our, uh, at our board meeting. There's 14 babies up in the NICU right now. They're only licensed for 15. So the need is tremendous. Our equipment is being well used. Um, we've also purchased some surgical equipment, some, an orthopedic C-arm for young children that really is critical in their small bones. Um, we have two rotating beds in the intensive care unit and ultrasounds and cardiac monitors throughout the hospital. Um, the 2012 gifts will pay for critical medical equipment throughout the hospital from the wellness programs to the emergency room, the NICU, the surgery ward, the adult intensive care unit, the maternal infant unit, labor and delivery. So actually these doctors and nurses, we're actually quite popular around here. <laughs> they all want to get some equipment and so we've got a list a mile long. So. Uh, if any of you would like to join the TAC, we're wide open for membership, so come on aboard, just get a hold of me. Um, so the, TAC, the TAC's mission to improve the health care status of farm workers and their families is ringing true throughout the valley. In fact, there's a little bit of national interest in it so far because we're tying it to taking care of these workers and their families because of the vanishing farm worker. We're suffering worker shortages every day. And so we need to take care of these folks. They're really our backbone of our industry. And uh, hopefully our, our legislators are listening and help us out in our worker supply problem. Um, so let me see if I can finish off here for you. Um, I'm going to turn it back to Linda. Thank all of you. I really appreciate it. We're doing some great work out here. New member Dave, his wife, OK. Thank you very much. Thank you, Harry.